Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ivy League Analytical English. I'm Karen. And I'm Wesley. And it's time for a translation lesson. Here we go, number one. 好，好，我们看看今天翻译的第一题，也蛮简单的。我们看看啊，他说，现今咖啡厅不只是享用咖啡的场所，许多人都喜欢在那里从事各类的活动啊。那这个现今，我们直接用 today 就好了。然后呢，咖啡厅不只是享用咖啡的场所，我们可以说 coffee shops 就是咖啡厅啊 ，are not just a place to enjoy coffee， 享用咖啡直接是 enjoy coffee 就好了。好，然后后面这一句呢，很许多人喜欢在那里从事各类的活动。这个其实跟前一句之间啊，也没有很清楚的连接词的关系啊，所以我们可以要、啊，但这有两句，我没有想把它放在一起的话，我们就可以用一个分号。所以这个 coffee shops are not just a place to enjoy coffee， 拿来一个分号。然后我们就直接写 many people， 很多人 go there。好，这个地方他说在那里从事各类的活动，那其实我们可以也可以说他们到咖啡厅去去干嘛呢？好 ，go there for 表示他去那里的目的是 all sorts of other purposes， 有各种各种其他的原因。这里啊，我用 purposes 来翻活动啊，因为就英文来讲的话，其实跟前面那句这样比较好接。我前面那句说，它 it's not just a place to enjoy coffee. In other words, it has other functions， 或者是 you go there for other purposes。啊，所以我就这样接下去了。Actually, I really like your translation there. I didn't think of it. I stuck with activities, and I had a hard time finding a good verb to it that wouldn't be too wordy. We'll find out what happens in my translation. But I think this was really a good choice here because it sounds very English and it's also Jinjie. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 好，那这个我的整个翻译我再念一次哈。Today, coffee shops are not just a place to enjoy coffee. Many people go there for all sorts of other purposes. Okay, here's my translation. These days, coffee shops are not just about drinking coffee. Lots of people now engage in all kinds of other activities there. And I would go with Wesley's if I could rewrite it. I could, but I'm not going to because it was his idea.、Um, watch out for engage in. I was saying earlier that activities gives us a problem that we have to use a suitable verb that collocates with activities. Do activities is okay, but it somehow didn't sound right here. Engage in is a good way of saying it, but engage in is longer because it's got two words, and so it calls attention to itself by being so wordy. So I'm not as happy with my translation. It's okay, it's fine, it's correct, but I think the other for the other purposes idea was a good idea. The other thing to watch out for, as I said, they're not just about drinking coffee. That is not a direct translation, but it expresses the idea. When you go there, it's not just because of the coffee. It's not just about drinking coffee. You do drink coffee, but you've got other things going on. So here's the translation again. These days, coffee shops are not just about drinking coffee. Lots of people now engage in all kinds of other activities there. It's really pretty wordy at the end. I also used a semicolon here. Semicolon is a feng hao. It's spelled S E M I hyphen 连字号 C O L O N. Semicolon S E M I hyphen C O L O N. Make sure you know the names of all of the punctuation marks in English. And remember, punctuation is 不可数的啊，要讲 punctuation marks. Punctuation 不能加 s. Okay, 好，所以 it's not just about 什么什么，就是他不去那里不是只关只做这件事情而已的意思哈。Engage in 就是从事哈，它比 do 更清楚更强。Okay, and the translation in our magazine is today coffee shops don't just serve as places to enjoy coffee. Many people also enjoy doing various activities there, and that's fine. 嗯哼，啊 ，various 就是不同的，啊 ，not just serve as 就是它的功能不仅仅是 places to enjoy coffee， 不止作为喝咖啡的地方。Yep. 好，那第二句我们看到，他说：“举例来说，这些活动包括商务聚会、家教以及阅读讨论等等啊。那这个也很简单，我们直接说，举例来说 ，for instance， 啊，这个卡玛，那这些活动包括，那我前面讲到，我的写法最后是 purposes 啊，所以我可以说它的目的是什么？所以我这里我比较顺的解法是 ，they use coffee shops for 什么什么什么啊，所以 they use coffee shops for 那这个商务聚会 business meetings 啊，家教 tutoring。” Now, reading, 阅读，讨论 discussion. 啊，这样这个句子解决了 For instance, they use coffee shops for business meetings, tutoring, reading, and discussion. Again, I like your translation best because it is more jianjie. Mine is wordy again.、Uh, some examples are holding business meetings, conducting tutoring sessions, reading, discussion, 
and so on. I think Wesley's is better stick with his, but here's mine again. Some examples are holding business meetings, conducting tutoring sessions, reading, discussion, and so on. 这里各位要注意的是，这个 business meetings 啊，你开商务会议前面那个动词是 hold。好，那这个 tutoring sessions 家教前面也可以用 hold。但这里如果你说这个啊 ，some examples are holding business meetings and tutoring sessions， 感觉起来好像 business meetings 跟 tutoring sessions 是属于同一类的东西，好像两个合并的感觉。对啊，但其实不对，他们所以这里呢，我们另外再加一个动词哈，加在这个 tutoring sessions 前面啊，我们用 conducting， 所以。Holding business meetings, 这是一个，然后 conducting tutoring sessions， 这是另外一个，把它分清楚。Okay, the translation in our magazine is, for example, these activities include business meetings, tutoring, reading discussions, and so on, and that's also fine. 嗯哼，好，我们看最后一句。那这可能是因为许多咖啡厅往往没有时间限制，而且餐点的价格便宜啊。那这可能是因为 this is probably because 啊，然后呢，这个呃，咖啡厅的餐点。便宜啊，那这个没有时间限制。那我是觉得把餐点先讲，我们会比较这个顺一点。所以我是讲说 ，This is probably because coffee shops offer foods, food and drinks at affordable prices. 啊，这个便宜就是 affordable prices， 就你觉得你你付得起啊。然后呢，往往没有时间限制。哈，那英文没有时间限制，可以说 There is no time limit. 哈，所以我可以说 And there is usually no time limit on 啊，在哪一方面啊？那 on 我们说这个使用的时间嘛，所以是 how long customers can stay 啊？这个顾客可以在那里待多久？好，可是我们发现到 there is usually no time limit on how long customers can stay。这个 time 跟后面 how long 重叠的，所以其实我们把 time 拿掉，我们直接说 there is usually no limit on how long customers can stay， 这样会更好。所以我的翻译就是这样子。This is probably because Coffee shops offer food and drinks at affordable prices, and there is usually no limit on how long customers can stay. Okay, good. My translation is quite similar. This may be because coffee shops do not impose limits on how long customers can stay, and their food is relatively inexpensive. And I assume it to include drinks. Yeah, impose time limits on 就是强加限制或加以限制时间啊，它并没有这样子限制。然后呢 ，relatively inexpensive 相较而之下呢，比较没有那么贵，所以这个也可以是表示便宜。And again, we remove time, impose limits on how long、yeah. they can stay. And here's the translation in our magazine. This may be because coffee shops often have no time limit, and their meals are inexpensive. Inexpensive 就是不贵的意思。And that is it for today. And hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.